<laughs> Does the boss fight actually take place here? Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Big anglerfish. Bloop, bloop, glub, glub? Ugh, food. Bloop, glub. <laughs> what a thing to say, dude. Is this it? We just fight a stupid fish underwater? Can I, like, grind for rupees here? No, hold up. Dude, this is just like a stinky Mario boss. Yeah, I remember this from Super Mario Land. I guess if you really want coins, you could just... Or I guess if you wanted rupees, rather, you could just sit here forever. And then I can teach you my song, Bloop. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is great. These 2D Zelda games always have, like, some funny segments. I guess this is just another one of them. Oh! Okay, I guess I learned another song. You've learned Mambo's Mambo. Well, that's pretty neat. Here I was thinking I was gonna... You know, need to walk all this way and I just teleport. What's this? A letter for me. I'm so happy, and look. A letter came with a photograph. Christine? Is that Princess Peach's real name? Hmm, she's so beautiful. I must give you something for your trouble. Hmm. Well, it looks like all I have is this broom. How'll that be? Who do I give this to? You got a broom as your reward from Mr. Wright, but that photo was not... <laughs> Catfish. Oh boy, letter writing is such a great hobby. So where do I go first with the hookshot? I guess over here? This should work. Look at that, we're, once we get the bow and arrow, we'll be one item off of off of a full inventory of items. Uh, that feels good. 200 rupees. Yeah, I'd be ecstatic if that actually did anything for me. <laughs> it's just a waste of money. How many, I could have bought so many arrows with that. Whatever. Piece of heart or something? Secret seashell or rupees? Exactly. It looks like it only shows up in the area you're at, too, which is... Like I said, this is super easy for some reason. Disk, disk. You don't seem to know what kind of island this is. <laughs> what a fool. <laughs> Don't monologue me. You sly dog, you caught me monologuing. Keep your eyes open and watch a pro at work. My, that's a big one. I knew it. The hook became a necklace. L -l Lucky. <laughs> Can't wait to see what I'll catch next. Well, good luck, buddy. Tons of money I can't use? Soon I will be totally broke and then I'll have plenty of use for money. Okay, hookshot time. Let me guess. More rupees? Oh my god, 50. Okay, at least it's not 200. <laughs> I keep expecting all these places to have more heart containers and none of them do. Watch where you're shooting those uh, laser beams you got there, magicians. Uh, the magicians. I miss that show. I marathoned it and watched all three seasons, I think it is. Three or four seasons. And I was just so impressed by the show because it seemed like... I don't know what to describe it as, but like super basic for the first season. Seemed like a ripoff of Harry Potter with like funny memes.exe. And then, uh, season two onward was just like, whoa, this show's actually good, holy cow. Yeah, I was really impressed by the quality of, uh, of the magi magicians, the magicians. The magicians. I want to reconvene on what this message was. What the hell is this owl even trying to tell me? Enter the space where the eyes have walls. Huh? 
The Eyes Have Walls? You talking about Rob Zombie's movie, The Hells Have Eyes? The Eyes Have Walls. This? What, what are you talking about? The Eyes Have Walls? I, I'm trying to piece together what that sentence would even mean in like a metaphorical sense, and I am so mind blown. It makes no sense to me. Yeah, it's just gotta be a Rob Zombie joke, right? Can't be anything else. Walk through the center of the area where the walls have eyes, so... Is there anything over here? You know what, this still could be... Level 2 bracelet, I think? Because, if I remember correctly, the level 2 bracelet, at least in glitch logic, always appears on, like, an upper... staircase? And it will appear in, you know, several map tiles over and over again. So, it would make sense if I had to, like, traverse a secret area to even reach it. Does this go anywhere? This does not go anywhere. What? Uh, what? Why did I waste a small key on this? Huh? What? <laughs> I've never been so confused by a dungeon since the Gold Leaf dungeon. That is crazy. I have no idea what the hell that is. Need to be cautious of here, or is this like, uh. Am I good? Gonna get through the Binding of Isaac segment just fine. Nope! Don't do this! <laughs> I told you, dog. I told you about tiles, bro. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Just gonna wait it out for a second? Raft. Oh, dude. Do you want to challenge the river rapids on a raft? Proceed to the office at once, please. Dude, minigame time? <laughs> He's got some big glasses. Want to go on a raft ride for 100 rupees? Sure. This waterfall? You're kidding me. Can I use the Pegasus boots to negate this? No, it just takes me further away really quick, because that might be something I've missed. Like, extra piece of heart or something. What the... Hey, that looks great. I'll call it Link Plays with Bow Wow. Now get closer to Bow Wow. <laughs> Grr. Link, get closer. Tink. Grr, grr. Grr, grr, grr. Much closer. Okay, I'm ready. Smile. Dude, don't don't use flash photography, he's gonna eat me. I think I just did that on accident. I know there's a bunch of pictures you can take in this game, but I <laughs> I'm just slashing around for fun. Watch me mess up this puzzle even though I've already completed it. Yeah, you actually have to read the signs for this. This is kinda crazy. Wait a second. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, which, which tile is this on? Uh, <laughs> how many times am I gonna do this? Chat, you gotta save me from this pain. Pain with a love, pain can't get enough. <laughs> <laughs> when, did, when did that song come out? It must have been like 500 years ago. So ancient I am. Okay, it's not that one, it's this one. Just don't exit the map tile this time. Yeah, my reward is this way. Thanks for showing me the way, game. I almost accidentally left the tile there. Yo! So I've been hinting about this for a while, but uh... Here's one of my emotes in my Discord server, you'll see it in a second. Frog champ, and here is like the absolute frog champion over here. Look at this, Chad. Ribbit, ribbit. I'm Mamu on vocals, but I don't need to tell you that, do I? Everybody knows me. Wanna hang out and listen to us jam? For 300 rupees, we'll let you listen for a, to a previously unreleased cut. What do you do? Of course, I'm gonna pay that price. All right, watch the frogs. <laughs> Dude, that is a frog champ if I've ever seen one. 
Yeah, you're welcome for the 300 rupees I just gave you. God. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Croak? Hey, third song unlocked. Have you heard of the flying rooster of Mabe Village? In the good old days, it used to give us rides if we held it above our heads. And it was lying under the weather... The weathercock? You're really gonna call it that? Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Is that useful for you? I hope so. Bye, click. Okay, buddy. I don't exist. I'm just a weathercock. God. Can't say stuff like that in a game like this. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to the Time Vortex. Today, we're going to get right back into The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. Last time we played this, we uh, discovered one of the last dungeons in the game, and... <laughs> Arise, chicken! We had to revive a chicken from the dead to be able to even access this dungeon. So, there's been some weird antics going on for this game, but uh, I'm glad we're here. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, screw it. God dang it, Bobby. Um, what was I gonna say? Like I've said many times before, I had like a test stream channel where I just wanted to figure out how Twitch worked. Bruh. Bruh? <laughs> it's stuck. Stream man, play video game. Play video game makes people angry. What? You play video game? I'm mad. I bully you psychotically for the rest of my life to utterly spite you because I'm shithead. <laughs> Stream vods fixed and now a uh, big ball, <laughs> big ball fixed. Big boss. Playing uh, James Bond 007 for the Game Boy. And uh, gotta say, that game really impressed me. It's a lot like this game. I've said this before, I know that much. Uh, it shares a lot of similarities with this game. I feel like the engine is very similar. Except there's like guns, rocket launchers. You even get a sword. There's people. <laughs> people pog. There's a lot of similarities in common with that game to this game. God, I hate seeing that. I hope I can actually reach that. Leave me alone! Stupid choo-choos, you shouldn't even be doing damage to me. Choo-choo. Gotta get that pee-pee. <laughs> I was trying to make a, like, a toot-toot beep-beep joke. So I started saying choo-choo and then instantly regretted the second rhyme I came up with. I'll come back there. In like a brief moment. I was gonna say memento. Memento. Mentos. The fresh maker. Kerba. Kerba? Hey, Kerba. Okay, how do I get out of Karuba Coffee Town? Go down here, probably. Okay, not over there. I gotta ascend the stairs again. So I gotta repeat the dungeon all over again. Gotta do it all over again. Wesley, you gotta do it all over again. Well, I, I was told I, I gotta do it all over again, so I'm gonna do it all over again, and then I'm gonna do it all over again. <laughs> if you know what meme that is I'm referencing, you're a god among men. God among women, too. You're a god among everyone, if you know what that meme is. It is called the Jaj, J-O-J, and it is a fantastic meme that deserves the highest of praise. If I had to do it all over again, I, I would do it all over again. And then I'd do it all over again. It's a shame that like some of those videos don't exist anymore. I guess uh, whatever commercial those YouTube poops were based on, they decided to like copyright claim <laughs> the YouTube poops, which is just so stupid. Like, yeah, I guess your business is kind of on the line, but also like, I would think that you would get way more business from that sort of thing. Because, like, that's hilarious and everybody should love that content. Like I did. And basically, first it's supposed to be, like, home maintenance and, like, foundation repair. And then it devolves into 
all of the foundation repair workers having their own like <laughs> reality show segments where they go into like the confession room and they're talking about their jobs. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would do it all over again. One of the main characters gets a photoshopped gun and kills everyone. And then it devolves even further to like a spaceship coming and abducting everybody. <laughs> and return to their home planet. It's so good. I love it. Go check out The Jaj. It's so amazing. J-O-J. Like, wh when does this end, the game? When do you stop giving me stupid puzzles? I mean it, this puzzle be stupid. Puzzle be. My new website. Join Puzzle Be now. 25% discount code TIMEVORTEX and get your own stupid Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening puzzles. That's right. If you want to be utterly confused out of your stupid mind, use code TIMEVORTEX to utterly. Uh, vomit your brains out. Will you stop. Stop! Why do we always have to wear these ridiculous ties? No! Step! No! Step! Oh my god, this is gonna burn my brain. I'm gonna have a new brain hole burned in. Okay. So, like, I chuck this thing, but like... What do you mean? If you can't go over the poles, try throwing things you have in your hands? What do you mean? <laughs> this goes nowhere, by the way. One series I loved. Perfect Hair Forever inspired, uh... What was it called? Girl Chain in Paradise? <laughs> that was good. I loved Girl Chain in Paradise, because that just seemed like Perfect Hair Forever 100%. And that was, like, one of my favorite, like, weird shows when I was younger. Girl Chain in Paradise! Just makes fun of like every anime trope possible and I love that. I'd like to go back to Magicite one day, but it's such an old game now. I feel like, even though it's been a few years, I feel like the developer probably hasn't put that much effort into making it better. And that's not like an insult towards the game or anything, I'm just saying like, it's been so long, it's probably non-existent now. Also, I didn't think of hookshotting over here. I feel stupid as hell. Bombs. Bombs! Lamp oil! Basically, you just have to hit the burb. Scoot the burbs. You know, I'm kind of curious if I can hookshot this thing. Yes! <laughs> hell yeah, brother. Okay, Sans. Looks like Big Chungus here is coming for the final uh, sweeping volleys. Oh, you know what that is? That's probably the instrument area. Can I jump on these here? Does that do anything? Dude, hell yeah. This whole time I just assumed that I could only do that in like the 2D segments. That is so incredibly based. Based in Goomba build. <laughs> I gotta give credit to Joel for that one. He's been doing based and X memes lately, so... I gotta... Gotta give credit where credit's due, because he's been inspiring me to make based memes more often. And no, it's not the place I learned it from. <laughs> where did you learn this? Uh, the internet! Thank you, based Varg Skeletor. Instead of The Last of Us, we've released this brand new title, The Rest of Us. Want to know what happens to the regular people in the zombie apocalypse? Well, now you know. The rest of us. I've never played The Last of Us, and I probably don't ever plan on it. it just seemed like an incredibly boring series, and it's probably just... Uncharted, but with friend. No thanks. I like Uncharted, but it seems incredibly lazy. It's just like, third-person shooter. But it's the developers of Crash Bandicoot. And also... It kinda low-key sucks, and all four games are exactly the same, except it's kinda... We kinda took inspiration from Tomb Raider, and there's a little bit of parkour, but it's kinda bad. Kinda really bad. This game's real basic, even though it's written in a cool language. Based lisp. 
Oh my god, dude, that is amazing! Not only do I have iframes there, I can hit the boss during that, too. That is so good. <laughs> I guess you just camp here the entire time. <laughs> dude, this is amazing. Organ of Evening Calm. Why is it called that? Such an unnecessary name. Finally! God, that took forever. Yeah, we have all instruments except for the eighth one. We even got like the flame pillars. Or whatever those things are called. Flamio Hotman. And we have the snack dungeon as well. Well, I feel like this uh, dungeon in particular isn't nearly as annoying as the last one so far. Like, at least it has my favorite color as the theme, it's red. But like, just can't get over the fact that this looks like a goopy flesh dungeon. So nasty looking. Whoops. I was thinking I would do that on purpose and it actually happened on accident. Yo, mid-boss time already? Damn.